Hey everyone, this video is an announcement for a giveaway that I'm doing. So when I got my Jack and Daxter and Jack 2 Collector's Editions, both boxes and Jack 1's Design Bible were misprinted. I got in touch with LRG support and they sent me some replacements, which I am super happy with. Those guys are legends. But now I have these spare boxes and a spare Design Bible, so I decided it'd be cool to do a giveaway competition sort of thing. At first I thought something like, if I reach this many subscribers by this time, I'd randomly pick someone, but I thought that's kinda scummy and all the new subs wouldn't be here for the content. Plus, where's the fun in giving them away randomly? So what I've decided to do, with help from some legends on Twitter, is to have a competition based on your knowledge of the games. I was thinking some sort of trivia thing, but didn't know how that would work. What we decided is this. On this video, I want you to comment the coolest small detail you can find in the original trilogy. An example I can give is this part right here in Volcanic Crater. One little detail I really like though, is with the tracks for the minecarts. If you look at the wooden planks on the tracks, there are a lot missing, so you can't just walk along them without the risk of falling into the lava and dying. But if we look at the track right at the entrance to Spider Cave, all the planks of wood are intact. So it's the lava that was damaging the tracks, but when there's no lava underneath, it's fine. And I think it's a nice little touch they really didn't have to put in. Cool little details like this are prevalent throughout all of the Jack games. So let me go over the rules. Must be from the original trilogy. I know Jack X probably has a bunch of great little details too, but I thought that keeping to the trilogy would make it easier, especially since most people have played those games over X and Daxter. Must provide a video or picture of your finding. You can upload your pics to Imager, it's super simple to use. If it's a video, upload it to YouTube, it'll just be easier. You can use any site to upload your picture, Imager was just a suggestion. Link your picture or video in the comment section of this video, or you can email me if you want, my email address is in the about section of my channel. When you submit your comment, tell us what we're looking at in the video or picture, just to avoid confusion. If you can't see these details without the use of debug mode, it doesn't count. This isn't an episode of Boundary Break. This is for those little details the devs put in for the player to see on a normal playthrough. Same goes for glitches. If you can't see them without performing a glitch, it doesn't count. With that being said, you can use the free cam in debug mode to get a better look if you want to. And with that also being said, I need to be able to find these details in my game. Simple enough, I need to be able to look at them on my copy of the game. This is mostly just for verification than anything else. Can be on any system besides PC. Doesn't matter what system you post the picture from, whether it be PS2, PS3, PS Vita or PS4. Not PC though, as there's no official release on it and it can be pretty jank. Last thing, this is something I can't really regulate, but something I'd like to do to be fair. If you already have the collector's edition of Jack 1, please don't participate in this competition. I wanted to do this for the fans who weren't lucky enough to get their hands on a copy for themselves. And I know this isn't the same as giving away collector's edition, but I thought it'd be nice for those fans. Now, again, there's no way I can regulate this. I'm just gonna have to ask you guys to be honest. You don't have to state that you don't have one in the comments, I'll just assume you don't if you're participating. And again, if you already have the collector's edition and want to enter this, I can't stop you. But it'd be nice to give those who don't have one a chance to get a piece of it. If you just wanted to share a cool detail but weren't looking to win anything, just say so in the comments because that'd be cool too. This rule isn't as concrete as the others, I'm just going to have to trust you guys are being honest. But I can't tell you what to do so you can do whatever you like. So them's the rules, I hope they aren't too restricting to follow. The last point I wanted to bring up is how I'll go about picking a winner and what happens when I do. First off, I'll be closing submissions on the 5th of January 2020, so you've got plenty of time to submit. Once it's closed, I'll go through each and every submission and pick a winner. Basically, whatever one I like the most and think is the best. Once I pick one, I'll reply to your comment asking you to email me. That way you don't have to give your email in your comment for everyone else to see. We'll discuss things like shipping addresses and such over email. I'll be picking three winners. The person in first place will have a choice out of all three items. The person in second place will get a choice of what's left. And third place will get the remaining item. I chose to do it this way to give a bit more freedom into what item you'd like to win. Maybe if you came first, you didn't want the design bible. You wanted the box. So that's cool. I'll let you guys pick. The last important thing I wanted to let you guys know is that if you win, you may have to pay shipping. I'm willing to pay shipping if it doesn't cost too much, like if you live in the same country as me. But just keep this in mind. No matter the cost, I'm more than willing to pay part of the shipping for you guys. And just to let you guys know, I live in South Australia. So I think that's it from me, guys. I hope this can be a really cool and fun event where we can all share some really awesome things from our favorite games. I really look forward to reading all your submissions. Just one more time, leave your submissions in the comment section of this video and submissions close on the 5th of January, 2020. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have fun and good luck. See you later.